Here I am in Cuenca again. I'm going to tell you about my bad day. Now today is Saturday and it's a pretty good day but Thursday Thursday kind of depressed me. Let me tell you how my day went. The day before on Wednesday I got up in the morning and I had a lot of work to do so I just went right downstairs into my little office and answered a lot of emails and just did a lot of work. I look up, next thing I know it's 3.30 in the afternoon. So, oh, my new hat you're asking about. I bought a hat in Columbia. I lost it. I left it on the bus and I picked this one up. It was, in, it was supposed to be for the Columbia videos, but let's get back on topic. So, it's so late in the afternoon I decide, yeah, what's the point of a shower? I'll take one in the morning. It's not like I did anything physical. I was just at the computer most of the day. So I just proceeded to do things around the house and just chalked it up to a, it's a home day. Let's move to Thursday morning. I wake up Thursday morning about 7, 7.30 with a tapping at my window, which I get most every morning around 7, 7.30. There is some bird that comes around with his little beak taps on the window. I have no idea why he does it for about 10 minutes and I don't hear him the rest of the day. Tomorrow morning it'll be the same thing. I don't get it. I wake up and I really feel I need to get that shower. So first thing I go in to do the shower and the water comes dribbling out. Okay so I got no water. So I leave the water on because if I lose water it usually comes back on really quick. So I'm doing things upstairs around in my bedroom. I'm putting some clothes away that I had washed the day before. I'm just puttering around. I've got Alexa playing uh, talk radio morning show from New York and so I'm keeping myself busy. And then I hear some water maybe 20 minutes later. So I go in to check out the water. And it's not coming down strong, but it's coming down. And so, okay, so I peel everything off, I get ready to go in the shower, and here comes the warm water and it's looking good. So I set the adjustments where I set them every morning. I get in, the water's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Next thing I know, it's steaming hot. And I'm steaming like you could cook some lobster steam. I can't stay in the shower, it's burning me. So I, I get out, I reach in, I turn the cold water up, nothing's happening. It stays like that for quite a while. I feel I've already wasted a lot of time that morning, so I'll go downstairs and I'll, I'll do some work. So I turn the water off, I figure I'll come back in a couple hours, should be all right. So I turn the water off, I go downstairs, I get on the computer, I start doing some work. I'm on it five minutes, the internet goes out crap. So I'm playing with it, I'm trying to reset it, I'm checking all the connections, hoping it was something in the house. Nope, it's not in the house. You hear the traffic? It's Cali Larga. I'm in Santa Canela in Cuenca again. So we're just gonna have to bear with the traffic. It's either that or barking dogs and chickens. So, internet's gone. So I'm thinking, hmm, did I pay the bill? I have it set up for a direct out of a, a Bank of Pachincha credit card, but when's the last time I put any money on that account? I don't remember. I better go down to the office and, and check that out. So I get clean clothes on, and in my mind I need a shower, but it's not like I'm really dirty. I mean, I'm not stinking or anything, at least that I could tell. I, you know, I think it's okay. So I get ready to go out the door and the power's out. Now, I don't know what the heck is going on here, so my internet's out, my power's out. So I walk down into town. I get all the way down to the park where CNT is and there's a little handmade sign on the door. 
He took off today. Thursday, off. No work. I don't think that was the issue, but he's not there anyway. I also want to talk to him about a dedicated IP, but I'm not going to talk to him. So, so I go back up thinking, what can I do today? I don't have any water. I don't have any internet. I don't have any uh, power. I, I'm, you know, I can't just sit around and twiddle my thumbs. So, I hate to do it, but without the shower, I'm still going to go into Cuenca. So I put a thing on Facebook, hey, I'm going to be in Cuenca because there's a couple people that wanted to meet up and talk. So I'm going to be there at such 1 o'clock, I think I said. And so I come down, I get on the bus. I have to go back up to my house to take care of the dog. And then I come down, I get on the bus. I ride the bus in where the bus drops me off. I get in a taxi. I take it over to Don Bosco to the Super Maxi because all the lunch things fell through. I get to Don Bosco to go into the Super Maxi, no wallet. I forgot to bring it. I never forget to bring it. I forgot to bring it. I can't go shopping. So now I get back in another taxi. Fortunately, I always carry some coins for the bus and the taxi because you can't give them anything but coins or they're going to keep it so I get back in the taxi I ride it back to catch the bus I take the bus I go all the way back to Hidon no shower two days no shopping at Super Maxi I'm out of just about everything no this no that no so I go back up to the house powers back on still no internet I, I don't know what I mean the day is shot I wasted the day I pissed away all my little coins that I, you know, covet, and I can't do anything. Um, we, people say that we live in paradise, and yeah, there's a lot of aspects of paradise, but then again, when you're semi-retired and doing hobbies and doing a little bit of internet work, I mean, no matter where you are, it's going to be like a paradise, right? I mean, you have all this free time and things to do, places to go. But today, speaking as Thursday, today, I'm really depressed. It's like every single thing that could happen seemed to happen. And then I realize I can't find my passport. Why am I looking for it? Another story, this one's long enough. But I can't find my passport. So now it's Saturday. I still can't find my passport. This is a week that I just kind of want to forget. I came into Cuenca just to get away from that environment and come to a different environment and, you know, hopefully just escape my problems, <laughs> escape my feelings, escape this little mini wave of depression that's you know sweeping over me so what's the point of this video is it to whine and cry I don't know maybe but my point in the back of my head I'm thinking there's people that think that if they go to a different place in a different country and if they reinvent themselves and they have a new life and everything is going to be cherry blossoms and pancakes assuming you like pancakes I mean Everything is not going to be perfect wherever you are. Life is going to give you lemons. And you don't make lemonade. You throw the lemons back and you beat up on life. I mean, you have to fight against problems so they don't overwhelm you. You have to find solutions. You have mail. I've got mail. You have to take care of yourself. And even when you do those things, you're going to get slapped beside the head. Is it a big thing internet goes out? No. Is it a big thing power goes out? No. Is it a big thing that you can't take a shower? Yeah, for me, that's a big thing. I mean, two days, that's, I can't go, I have to have at least one shower a day. So that was kind of a big thing. Is it a big thing that you can forget your wallet? Yeah, kind of, because, you know, you need things and you, you know, you get on the bus and taxi and 40 minutes and all, on a normal day, that's no big deal. It's just a nice little trip. On this day, it was pretty annoying. So, 
Don't think you're going to come here and life will automatically be perfect. Whatever problems you carried, you're going to carry with you. And if you didn't carry any with you, you're going to get some anyway. You just have to roll with it and find your little happy place. My happy place is back at Santa Canela. I don't know, I just really like to be here. And um, it cheered me up enough so I could do a video. I couldn't even do a video for a few days just because I was really bummed out. You know you could